Hey guys, it's finally fall in New England. Um, the trees are starting to change. I don't know if you guys can see the trees behind me. And the pumpkins are out. Let's see, we've got a nice pumpkin. And this is gonna start the official Halloween season. And I've got the Flying Dutchman that we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you everything that the Flying Dutchman comes with and we're gonna start the Halloween build. Good morning, everybody. I welcome you to another video. Today is October 1st, 2021. And what I've been looking forward to is the Halloween build. Um, I never really did this in the past, but I figured, you know, that'd be pretty cool to build something specific to the season. And here in New England, we do have beautiful fall seasons. So what I want to do is we're going to build a Flying Dutchman. And unfortunately, this is the only version I could find. I would love to have a model kit of the Flying Dutchman. But until that comes out, my friends, this is gonna to have to do. This is the 3D puzzle of the Flying Dutchman from the Pirate Ship series. And what's cool about this, it's got the LEDs, and you can see she's gonna glow in eerie green. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Show you guys the back of the box. You can see a picture of the finished model. And it looks to be like some kind of a printed cardboard or paper. And it's got the backing of that, um, that kind of styrofoam. But we'll see. We'll see how she holds up. It says no tools, no gluing uh, required. So this is the 3D puzzle of the Flying Dutchman. The Dutch were in old masters of the sea before Britannia ruled the waves. The sea was their favorite element. In the struggle of the Flying Dutchman against the angry billows, typified their own battle with the powers of old ocean and their determination to conquer at all hazards. You can see what she's gonna look like. Hopefully mine looks like that. <laughs> you can see what's in the box. So guys, why don't we take it over to the modeling desk and I'm gonna show you guys what comes in this awesome kit. I've been looking forward to showing you guys this ever since I ordered it. It's just so cool. So let's open the box. You can see there's some, uh, some tape. Check it out, guys. First thing, well, actually, what's this? Cubic fun. Oh, this is the hole punching tool. So this is pretty cool. The hole puncher for the cubic fun 3D puzzle. And I'm immediately drawn to the battery pack. You can see this is L527H. And let's see. Let's open this up for you guys. Love it. You can see. Oh, these are pretty cool. I never really saw bulbs like this before. You can see the leads and then the bulb. And then it's kind of sealed and looks like... Um, plastic or like a glue, like a hot glue kind of thing. Let's see, what kind of batteries is this going to take? I'm going to use our screwdriver from the Eagle Moss Build the USS Enterprise D. And speaking of which, I finally got notified that my next shipment is on the way. And it's been since June, June 12th is the last shipment I got, and this is October 1st, so I can't wait for that. And of course, I'll do videos on that. You can see the batteries that it's going to take. Um, let's see, do I have any of those? All right. Okay, so the power pack is all set. So let's plug in the lights. 
and see what they look like. Okay, so let's switch it on. Oh, look at that, guys. That is so cool. I love that green glow. Let's shut the lights for a minute. That is so awesome. This is going to look great full of these. I hope the camera picks it up. It's got that eerie kind of glow. Love it. This is so cool. So this is what's going to light the ship. Let's put the lights back on. It's going to be so amazing. I love it. All right. So for now, let's put these aside. All right. Moving on. Oh, I love these. Check it out. This would be packet L527, and you can see all the little cannons. I love them. Look at They're beautiful. You can see the little slot where I assume you're going to push them into the deck. Isn't that cool? You know, I'm wondering if um, to just dust them with a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark paint, that would be pretty cool. There are a bunch of them. Let me show you a couple of them together. Check that out, guys. I love these. It's so cute. As the Flying Dutchman comes up to do some damage. One of the things I love about the Flying Dutchman, this version anyway, they actually have, I don't see it represented here, but in the front of the ship, they have like, a, it's almost like a Tommy gun where there's three cannons and it rotates and it fires. It's just awesome. Oh, and there's still one in there. So let's see, how many do we get? All right, so we get a total of 24 cannons. So there are 24 of them. Love it. Let's put that aside. And this looks like the, uh, the manual. And what I'll do, guys, is every model that I show you, I give you the instructions, uh, the complete instructions. Um, so if you have the model, let's say you lost them with the instructions, or if you buy something off YouTube and there's no instructions, uh, excuse me, off eBay or Amazon, and it doesn't have instructions, hopefully my videos can help you. Um, because I put up the instructions for everything. So let's open it up. You can see the cover. She's just gorgeous. I love that ship. <clears throat> 3D puzzle of the Flying Dutchman. You can see a nice picture of her when she's finished. Again, hopefully mine looks that good. Love it. Check that out as she sails up through the water. You know, is there anything cooler than when she first appears and she comes up out of the water and all the water's running off? You can see when she opens up the hatches for the cannons and the water is running out and the cannons stick out. I'm just so infatuated with this ship. I just love this ship so much. It's so cool. Please, please, AMT, Polar Lights, or any model company, please make a model kit of this ship. All right, so we go over to the first page, and you can see the steps. Remove the parts from the instructions, punch the interlocking holes before assembly, and fold the parts before inserting. Insert the parts to make sure they are securely in place. So this is going to be fun. Um, no glue. No tape, nothing like that. So this is the assembly instructions. Moving on to the second page, you can see where we, they have the power supply, the battery box, compartment files. You can see the LEDs, there's two of them. And we already finished this uh, stage. We put the batteries into the power supply and we tested the lights and they're all working. Let's see, we're already on to page eight. This is the battery usage instructions and just the safety and precautions and all that stuff. So now we move on 
Page nine is the start of the actual ship build. You can see A1. It looks like the formation of the bulkheads. A2 looks like the keel, part of the keel. You can see A3 and A4 where you start to build the, uh, the frame of the ship. Again, this is pretty straightforward. Part five, you got the frame, the skeleton pretty much done. You got the, uh, the keel and the ribs laid, and you start to put the deck on. And this is where we start to add the lights. This is so exciting, I can't wait to do this model. A7, you can see it looks like uh, housing on the deck. And it looks like the intertwining of the lights. And on the bottom, you can see where the battery box is going to go. It's going to go into the base of the stand to give you easy access to change the batteries. Over to C1, you can see more of where the, um, the, the color, it's color coded, so that's a good thing. And see where the uh, the wire is going to be fished through. And you can see the addition of the rudder. You can see the um, the front of the bow, the assembly there, and let's see that could be the assembly of the wheelhouse. Well, actually, no, that would be way in the back where the wheel is, but. Set, um, parts 14, 47, and 48. Over to C5. You can see she's starting to take shape. You can see the, um, the leads for the lights. More of the little goodies that go onto the ship. You can see the, where the cannons are. You can see the ship's wheel. So you think of a, a paper model, um, not really gonna be that strong, but hopefully this is a little bit stronger than a paper model and this can endure the test of time and the handling. You see another illustration and you can see the backs, those fantastic lanterns that go in the back. More detailing. Look at that. You can see the railings that are going to go into the back of the ship where the captain's quarters would probably be. You can see the sides. It looks like solid construction up until this point, you know, so it's it's not like flimsy folding half a hull. It looks like it's really put together well. <clears throat> see that? This looks like the mast formation. Crow's nest. And this was almost $50 where the, um, you know, you want it to be durable. You don't want it to fall over and have it break or, but the way it looks with the, um, the way the pieces go into the slots, it looks like it can be really, really well constructed so we'll see plus you know it wouldn't hurt if you want to keep this on permanent display to add some glue to the areas that might need a little bit more reinforcement so that's not the worst thing in the world so we might do that just to keep it built you know because a lot of the snap kits they say no glue required but it usually ends up um, you're going to need glue to keep it together and secure you see, you can see the rat lines going onto the mass, the crow's nest. You can see how the instructions tell you to put the tabs in. And here we are introduced to the sails. Love it. You can see the section that holds the sails on. And we get the another mast with the uh, crow's nest.
nice. And we've got the other sails that are gonna go on the other mast. You can see the addition of the rat lines. Really straightforward, but it's got the potential to be really an amazing kit. And you can see, um, I'm not sure, that looks like the, uh, the rigging. You would think the rigging is gonna to need to be uh, done with care because of the, it's fragile, depending what the material is. You can see the ship is starting to look finished and where the rigging is going to go. More rigging. And the attachment of the sails. Again, it's not just like the, ha the sail is going to hang off. It's uh, it's held in place with looks like a couple of brackets, so hopefully it's going to be really solid. You can see the anchor. The anchor goes on. And don't you just love the bow with the broken teeth? The ship is just amazing. They actually have the ship um, in Florida. I would actually love to go see that ship in person. You can see she's starting to look really nice. And at this point, she goes on the base, and we attach the leads to the power pack. And that's, fin that's it. And this shows you the other 3D puzzle models. I had done one of the Titanic a long time ago with my son. Um, I didn't film it or anything, but that was a really fun model to build. And they got the HMS Victory. The Mississippi Steamboat, that, that's really cool. And following along, they've got the Queen Anne's Revenge. And uh, does she light up too? Yep, she also lights up. The Queen Anne's Revenge was actually, in reality, a captured ship for the famous pirate Blackbeard. And that's, that's the, the manual. Those are the instructions for the Flying Dutchman. You can see the website, www.cubicfun.com. So this is going to be loads of fun to make. So let's put this aside. And let's show you guys all of the parts. Really nice. They have everything kind of um, locked in a plastic protective coating. So let's go ahead and we're going to cut that off. So let's take a look at these and right off the bat you can see it's um, probably a little less than one inch, uh, one eighth of an inch thick um, and I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell if there's like a little layer of foam to make it strong. But you can see this is, it doesn't tell you what parts of the ship but this could be the bulkheads and they're going to go in and going to attach to her keel you can see the holes where the lights are going to be run through one two three so this would be the absolute beginning of the instructions so this is where we're going to start and look at that texture beautiful that rotted thing about the flying dutchman as she goes through the ocean and she basically is a sunken ship and you know the sea really does its damage to the ships and she's constantly submerged in the ocean so her wood is going to be rotted which just adds to the effect that she's just amazing so that's the first sheet And we got more bulkheads, and they seem pretty easy to take out, to punch out. You can see section 14, we start to see some of the real detailed items. You can see the chain, 
I wonder if that's going to be for the, the anchor that's going to go with the bow of the ship. And again, I just love that uh, the texture. Look at that, huh? That's so cool. All right, what do we got? Ooh, these are amazing. Look at these are the sails. Look at that. This combined with the eerie green lights is just going to look absolutely spectacular. I love it. In order to do this with, like, when they have the model kit, hopefully someday that comes out. You can just, oh, actually, this isn't, uh, this is really thin. So this is, this is like paper, coated paper. Maybe that way there, it'll be a little bit easier to bend, to look like they're billowed. But to do this with cloth, I mean, it can be done, but it would take a while. But the way they're all printed out, it's all set to go. And they're printed on both sides. You can see the, the holes, love it. So we gotta be a little more careful with that. This, I'm not sure what these sections are. Could be parts of the keel and the frame. Or the deck, or the bottom of the hull. Look at that, you can see the, the faces. I love those faces. Of course, when the ship um, comes back and resurfaces, you can see these, the doors drop down and the cannons come out. Love it. And these are color coded, like I showed you in the instructions to help you identify where the pieces are going to go. So that's nice. Let's see. Looks like we have the keel. And what's nice too is even the keel and um, the insides of the ship, the bulkheads, they all have the printing. So if you were able to look inside, everything would have the texture. It's not like you'd be looking in at a white piece of cardboard. Let's see those faces again. So those souls, what do you think? Are they angry? Are they in pain or both? Cursed to live on a Dutchman for eternity. I, I wouldn't mind being on a Dutchman. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I think that would be pretty cool. All right, now, ooh, we got a nice large section of the deck. The boat deck. And look at, again, look at the, look at the texture. This is piece number 41. You can see there are some holes and the smaller pieces. Um, possibly the rudder right there. You can see the, the other side. It's printed on both sides, which is a good thing. And look, you got the cargo hatch. You got. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Nice. And we got more decking. This is really nice. You can see the back of the ship. Where the lock, the uh, cabins, cabin, excuse me, the captain's quarters would be, or his cabin. Davy Jones. You can see more of the deck plating. Wow, look at the doors. Love it. I think those are going to go up by the wheel. Anyway, two of those. We have another section of the doors with the screaming soles. And we got more detail on the back. You can see another um, hole where the hatches are, where the, uh, the cargo area is below. You can see the holes on the ship. Nice, and they did the uh, both sides of these. Do the doors open? Nope, the doors don't open. I'm not sure what that is, a little bit of detail. Nice. 
Ooh, this is like when we really start to get into the detail of what makes the ship so nice. Look at that, look at the bow section. Those broken kind of teeth, just love that. That's a characteristic that's just, I love so much. And see more of the bow section. And these are those wonderful lanterns that are gonna go in the back, the aft end of the ship. You can see they're all, just love it. Now the real Flying Dutchman, they made all these parts out of styrofoam and they have a special spray that they sprayed on, kind of like the expanding foam insulation in the can and then they were able to carve it and make all of the uh, these amazing pieces. It's just amazing what they can do. And it's actually real, you know, it's a real ship, it's not CGI. Now, when they built the, um, the ship for the filming, um, it's a full-size ship, but the port side isn't finished. So when they do shots of the port side, that's CGI, um, to show the finished part of the ship. But the other side, the starboard side, is actually all finished. You see, this is just beautiful. All the work, the intricate carvings. Love it. And you can see the ship's wheel. How fun would that be to be the one to steer the Dutchman? And you got the back of that uh, beautiful carved piece that's going to go with the aft end of the ship. All the way by the poop deck. Just beautiful. And we have, now that this looks like the sides of the ship, or the hull. You see the portholes. Again, that beautiful texture, you can see the railing. Nice. And I'm gonna put this in high definition so you guys can really get the effect of how beautiful this is. I hope it comes out. And look, this is what I was telling you at the front end of the ship, at the bow. They have those awesome Tommy guns that come out and they actually rotate as they fire. It's really, really amazing. So cool. You guys tell I like this ship. <laughs> I don't mean to gush over it so much, but I just, it's just so cool. You see some of the parts. Luckily, they're printed on both sides, and you can see the railings that are going to go at the back where the captain's quarters are. The aft end of the ship, you've got a couple of stories there. And then up on top, you'd have all those lanterns. And then the formations of whatever these are um, little deck structures. And now we go into some of the rat lines. You can see everything's gonna be punched out. And part of the rigging, you can see the rigging. Also we have an addition of the anchors. I'll show you guys the other side. Now, I recently did a video of you guys showing you what's in the Black Pearl, the uh, ZHL model, the wooden model, and you would think more of an anchor like this would come with the ship. And what was advertised, it had a really nice anchor that you could tell was part of the ship, but <laughs> the kit that I got, you see those anchors were far from authentic. They had like a small little plastic silver ship anchor that just looked nothing like it belonged on the ship. But these are really nice. And these are probably um, for the sails, I'm not sure. Hold the sails in place. We'll see as we go along in the build. And we have more rat lines. You guys can, can see that. And I love all that seaweed and all that stuff hanging off. Again, after years of being underwater. 
nice to see a resurface. Again, with all the water dripping off, and it's just amazing. There's something special about ships as they resurface. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, uh, I'm talking to my fellow Titanic fans. Um, when I was a kid, they had a movie that came out in the 80s that was called Raise the Titanic. And what they actually did was they actually put flotation devices under the ship and they brought it back. And when it goes to the surface and it comes out, it's just spectacular. Well. I love the Titanic. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. So no matter what they do with her, I'm going to love. But that, that shot always, you know, that really solidified my love for the Titanic when I had seen that as a kid and started a lifelong obsession. Those of you that watch my channel, you know that the Enterprise from Star Trek and the Titanic are two of my main obsessions, but I just have a love of ships in general. So these are the crow's nests, it looks like. And we have, it looks like another paper, um, a sheet for the sails. Again, it's printed on both sides. And this is a little more delicate than the, uh, the more rigid sheets. Like I said, it's probably so that you can make them flexible. Again, I love that printing. All right, looks like we have more of the rat lines that go into crow's nests and more of the, the um, parts that are gonna hold the sails in place. You see the, probably gonna go for the crow's nest. The, the rat lines. Nice detail on the rat lines too. All right, now it looks like this is the rigging. So we got a lot of rigging. And again, this you have to be a little careful with this. This would be a little more delicate. Um, you see the long ropes, the rigging, the pulleys. And these are probably for the main sails. some of the pulleys there and these um they should come out relatively easy because you can see it's it's not too hard to punch them out but of course we've got to be careful for the uh the rigging because this seems like the type of material if it bends it, it just it's not going to be a good thing and it looks like we have the base see the, the base parts of the base and we're going to put the bow the uh, the box for the power supply behind it oh you got a nice um, plaque for the Flying Dutchman and we have Davy Jones on it well the Davy Jones from Disney the Disney movie Pirate to the Caribbean you see a nice wood appearance and even the base is all rotted and weathered so that's really cool love it and there's one thing left oh i love it check it out guys it's the faces i thought i had seen them already printed on a ship but they have these too that go over it i don't know how they're going to go over it because there are no tabs on these. So I'm not quite sure how these are gonna stick on. Maybe the cannons coming through will hold them in place. I'll show you guys the other side. He kind of looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. And is that everything? Yep, that's everything in the kit. So, like I said, this is going to be a really, really fun kit to put together. And I've been looking forward to doing this and showing you guys ever since I ordered it. 
Um, I got this one off Amazon. I didn't really see them on eBay. And it was about $40, 40 something dollars, about $50 with tax and shipping and all that. So I'm thinking if it comes out looking like that and the lights, it's really gonna be worth it. So I don't want the video to last a year. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it in sections. So this was the video that introduced you to the actual ship. We did the parts list, we checked everything. And what we're gonna do is the next video, we're gonna move on and we're gonna do the formation of the hull. So the next video, we're gonna start to put the hull together and we're gonna start to see her come alive and start to hopefully look like that at some point. So my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.